Thank everyone for coming out today to remember a special man. He will be called Dad, Granddad, Uncle Mike, Great Granddad. Um, you know, as, as the weekend's gone on, the more I listen to the more I realize. Yeah, there's always a guy up singing the national anthem. 
Somebody got hurt. He's going to do a prank for us. I hope you like to be that guy. Well, I'm just so glad that you, know, you guys are what we consider family. Everybody here, you know, when they say we're having a family gathering, this is what we consider family. So thank you all for taking time out of your day to be here. Um, my name is Dermot. Um, I haven't met a lot of you because we're up from New Jersey. But uh, you know, my life can unfortunately I have two sons. I had to stay at home. Couldn't make it down. But our third, uh, our oldest son Ryan is here, and Ryan wanted to see if he could sing song for us just to start things off. So I'd like to call Ryan up. Yeah. Ryan will be singing one of Granddad's favorite songs. Is it? Ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of a storm is a golden sky. And the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be Toss and blow. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart, and you'll never. Mike called me, I think, uh, Monday or Tuesday last week, and 
No, I was at the surgery. I thought it was surgery. And, uh, so he called and prayed for me. And, and uh, we prayed. And, and I thanked him. And he just got a little bit. And then had the surgery Wednesday. Went phenomenal. All the symptoms went away. And so I called it Thursday. It was Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. And um, and wanted to tell him, give him an update. And so we got to talk in. And he was so happy that, that the surgery was success. And been praying for a long time for me. And uh, he, he was funny. I asked him if you've ever seen the old movie um, Quiet Man with uh, John Wayne and uh, Maria O'Hara. That's one of our favorites. We're old movie for us, my wife and I. He said, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, you know, Ireland was really like that. He said, it's changed so much now, but it's really like that. I said, yeah, Michael Lean, uh, Lean, he, he uh, you know, There'll be no patty fingers over here, you know. <laughs> and we laughed and laughed, and, um, and we talked about the pandemic and how crazy it was, and how Americans, you know, were just, you know, we're not used to being locked away. And uh, but the thing about Michael was that, uh, you know, he, he, he was he, he had a lot of physical struggles. He never complained. I can't recall one time where he ever said, hey, I'm, "I'm really struggling." <laughs> He come into the group, he, he, he had a smile on, and uh, he'd ask how you were doing, if you were something wrong with you. just never did. So everything was fine. So, um, you know, when I heard that he had, he had uh, taken a turn for the worst Wednesday, I was shocked. I really wasn't shocked. And uh, I actually had to be up at Lexington Hospital seeing the surgeon Thursday morning when I got the text. You know, I was up there at 9, and I just finished up and did some blood wrong. And it just, you know, it, you know, I was happy for him, but sad for us because because he's he's not with us. But I used to love uh, the love the way he would say, um, "Holy Communion." You know, what communion? We always say communion in America, but from the Catholic background, I think it was the Holy Communion, and uh, and and he he actually served it to our group uh, last semester. And I was down with Kenny Stone and Spare Fireway things, so I, I couldn't make it. The boy said it was really, really special. And um, but you know, there's another fellow in the group. That, uh, our life group was made up of ages early 20s, single, married, right on up to yeah. And it's, it's it, but it worked. I mean, there weren't any barriers. Uh, we we had a great time. Uh, I remember something. I think it was uh, St. Patty's. I was playing some Irish music on my phone. And we were laughing about that. But I would, when I got off, before I got off the phone with, with Michael this last time, and I would say this to him periodically. I said, Well, Michael, you know, Irish whiskey, it makes you crispy. <laughs> and he would laugh. He said, I know, I know. I said, Don't forget that. And uh, I had an old pastor a friend of mine that uh, was, was Irish. Breen was his last name. And uh, I bought him a mug. Stein, and it said, Irish whiskey makes me <laughs> Anyway, um, we're just going to miss him so much. He, uh, you know, he just he just always had time for you. And, and he uh, just a tremendous friend. The last thing I want to say is, uh, he had been born again, saved a long time. But when he talked about knowing Jesus and, and born, being born again, it was like it just happened. It, he had such an excitement. He would, he, it didn't matter how many times he'd shared something, you know, his testimony. It was like a fresh. It was so, it was, that was so refreshing for us. And sometimes when you can serve the Lord a long time, it just, you know, it kind of becomes all that sometimes. It shouldn't. But he was so excited. He was, you know, it was like he just got saved last week. And, uh, and it was, uh, it was contagious. So. Just know that uh, folks that are, that, are, that are traveling from out of town, um, we'll keep an eye on Maura, and we're here to help any way we can. Um, and she can call us at a moment's notice, and we'll be, she just wants you to know that. And we love you, and, uh, and love all of you. Thank you again for the privilege to share. And to meet you guys. Thank you, Dave. Thanks a lot. Well, uh, my name is Corey Anderson. I am uh, an honor to serve at Christian Life Church for uh, the beginning of the And uh, I want to say how much of, of an honor it is for me to be here today. Uh, thank you all, especially all of the mics I met today. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a 
females who are not very nice. <laughs> I was uh, working hard, as most of you were here, in the past week. Uh, but even more so, the fact that we could not gather in church service together and really celebrate this man's life um, in the way that he properly deserved. But I do want to say that this is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen as far as the funeral. So I drove around and I saw the photos. I just, as a father myself, I have five children. Um, it was incredibly moving. And so um, thank you for allowing me to be here today. I just want to share a little bit of perspective uh, for us today. Um, I was reminded of a, a very famous missionary to uh, the nation of Ecuador by the name of Jim Elliott. Some of you may have heard of him and his wife, Elizabeth. And uh, as a young man, they were sent to uh, the nation of Ecuador. And uh, after a little bit of time, after a, uh, a little bit of time of them being there, he was, he was martyred by uh, Native Indians there in that nation, but his legacy lived on um, through his diary, through his journal. His wife would later write a memoir and have a talk about the different things that he had said. Uh, incredible quote one time. He was writing, in, if he was writing to the Lord in his journal, he said, I seek not a long life, but a full life. As I thought about like, I thought the man who's been in a long life and a long life, and we get to celebrate his life today. Um, a faith, a tremendous faith man who loved his children, um, a very, from my perspective, a very selfless man. Um, I, I know there were so many times where we would have conversations and um, and talking about things going on with them, and I would ask about family and health and all these kind of things. More, they had a way of shifting the conversation away from themselves back onto you. So I would begin talking about them, and then we would end up talking about me, my family. And I just thought, what an incredible, what an incredible um, uh, goal to make in in my own life to always focus the attention on other people. And to care for them, an incredible couple. I was talking to um, some of our pastoral staff and sharing some, uh, some stories about you guys this last week. And uh, uh, Darren, uh, one of our pastors, is, uh, he's in a battle right now with uh, he's in a battle right now with uh, Arthur, and uh, he's uh, in the thick of it right now. And uh, he was telling me a couple months. Ago,
to not just let this stuff kind of stay here, you know, and to let the story end here. Um, it is so incredibly important for the healing process to continue to share stories, to continue to be awesome, and don't worry about Mama. She's going to be fine. She is going to be okay. Don't worry. It's just going to provoke something in her that's going to hurt her. It is a healing process. Remember, so um, we're, we're reminded that Jesus Himself is no stranger to death. Um, we understand that He walked this earth with Father. At some point, He was out of that world. He walked Lazarus with the close to the grave. The Bible says that He wept more than death in the grave. So, um, no shame in tears. Uh, in, uh, tears tend to cleanse the soul. And so, we would just continue to encourage you to do that. But I, but I I do want to say this. I want to say that it's incredibly important that all those who dream and we mourn and we share and we begin the healing process, it's important to remember that uh, the Apostle Paul said that this is one of the prayers. He said, when, when a thing of God happens in the life of death, he said, we all as humans grieve and we mourn death. But those who are in Christ, we don't mourn the same way as those who mourn the He said, this is not a, a moment of finality. It is in this life. He said that this, this is not the final chapter of what we're doing. So we're reminded today. I just want to remind you today. Sit here in grief. And sit here in confusion. Maybe in some of the regret. But I'll tell you, Brother Mike, right now, if you're sitting with Jesus, yeah. you're sitting with Jesus. And this is not some mythological, uh, wishful thinking crutch that we have come to. This is a very real thing that we have come to. And so I just want to remind you today, Brother Mike, and I know it's so cliche to say he's in a better place. But I'll say that he's not just in a better place, he's in deep place. And he is in a place where he will suffer longer. In a place where he will not hurt any longer. And uh, for that, we will hope for the future. So, um, I want to, uh, I just want to uh, close with this prayer and then we can come in and finish up. But I want to, uh, I don't want to over spiritualize everything that's going on. We live in a very real world. But I do think it's important to just like the word of Jesus Christ in the arms of Scripture. And so I want to uh, call your attention to the thing that's found in the book of Revelation. Um, now, when I was a kid growing up, the book of Revelation was the last place I wanted to find But I want to I read something to you. This is at the very end of the last few chapters of the book of Revelation. And this is one of Jesus' as a matter of fact, Jesus John the Apostle. And uh, he has been banished to an island in Corinth. Yeah. He's been banished to an island. And he has this encounter with the living God where God shows him the future to come that was ahead. And John, as amazing as what I'm about to read is, his words still fall short of the reality of what he's talking about. So I just want to read to you for the rest of the future. Don't define our grief and knowing that Brother Mike today he is in this world. John wrote and said, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's throne is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them, and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death, or sorrow, or mourning. For all these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne looked and said, Behold, I am making all things new. Heaven shone with the glory of God and sparkled like a precious stone, like jasper, as clear as crystal. The walls of heaven were made of jasper, and the city of pure gold, as clear as glass. The twelve gates were made of pearl, each gate from a single pearl, and the main street was pure gold as clear as glass. And the city has no need for sun or moon, for the glory of God illuminates the city, and the Lamb of God is its light. 
and nothing evil will ever be allowed to enter there, nor anyone who practices idolatry in the Father's church, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Brother Mike, his name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. He was once your Jesus. I'm telling you, the truth that I know, if I told you to talk about the Lamb's Book of Life, that this life is not our life. There is a new life to come. And there is going to be a glorious new life. I just saw what she wants. And the word glory will be in all shape. The word glory is going to be in all shape. And I'm telling you this, as we do as we are to be there, we will be afraid of the truth. Right. So if I could start thinking of the truth. Sure. Father, we, we love you today. We thank you for good gift that this is not as hard as we pray. We recognize today, Lord, that we have all sinned against God. All of us have fallen short of your expectation. But we thank you that you sent Jesus in our place, that his death on the cross was sufficient to forgive us of our sin. And Lord, as we trust in you, that we have a promise that we will have forever with you in heaven and with brother Mike. So my prayer is for this family that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will settle upon them like a blanket. I want to ask you today, Lord, in the weeks and the, the months to come, as memories are conjured up and they begin to remember, and it almost feels like morning begins again. I want to pray for it that you will remind them that there is a reality that Brother Mike is living in right now to see his vision. So, Father, I pray for this blessing to those who are Laura today, the strength that God gives you courage, that the peace of God, that the biological people will surround you, Lord, that you will help us to do the good. God bless this precious family. Bless the love of this Christ. Amen. 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 All right, I'm Mike. I'm the second son. Um, I want to reiterate what my older brother said. Thank you all for being here as the procession is starting, apparently, so I'll be real quick. Um, as everything started happening and everything started to go bad for dad, we, um, we gathered, we rotated to visit him in the hospital, which was very hard. Um, Thursday morning, I think the most beautiful thing was the 26 of us being in the room at one time and we were all able to be there we all spoke we all talked to dad we all said what we needed to say and then it came up from mom that said every day dad prayed that this family would mend we've mended Amen. we've mended there there we've got we've got nothing and like i said to the girls we start on ground zero right now we go from here Dad prayed for it. Dad got his prayer answer. And now we'll work forward. No doubt about it. We will work forward. I love I love all of you. I love all of you. And let's just make Dad proud now. Please. Thank you. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still. When striving seeks my comfort, my all in all, 
here in the love of Christ I'll stand.
Leave that there. Jess, Jess, leave that there. No, no, no. It was just So much. I can't wait to see you guys soon. We love you this morning. This was just, this was like, man, I'm, I know. I'm totally cool. We're really cool. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 
I wanted to be here. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kim. This is Scott. And, Hello. And Jen. I don't want to. So, Scott and I, we've been friends for 16 or 17. Yeah, we're a little tired. Hi. How are you? I've seen you in pictures. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Hop, skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, and a jump. I'm sorry to hold up the line. Oh, I was. He kind of runs the joint. Yeah. So, 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 all of them 17. Yeah. 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 I think that was part of the body of the letter. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that this was when he said I'll tell you this. Yeah. They know. They just know. They start making plans. It's almost like this switch that goes off, and they just know. We get to an age, yeah. And he was so That's the point. He wants you to read this. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's why. Did you talk about that? Yeah. 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 Including the little one. Yeah. Um, my really America. There's another mask. Right? There's, there, oh, there's so much. She did so much. I have no idea how in the world she did it. Oh, he's up there. <laughs> there he is. No, that was down the hall. Thank you. I 
I'm now I do think I remember good over you. Are we having oh, a I love you. Love you. Thank Thank you. My son lives in DC. Well, right across the line in Silver Spring, Maryland. So when he works in Baltimore, his girlfriend is just like, she's like, because he was supposed to come over for Mother's Day weekend, and last minute he was like, I'm not coming. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. And they show park, park them at a Walmart and they show the skate park completely empty. Like, where does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. Well, my friend, they were good friends of ours in Raleigh. Like, everybody in Raleigh is now in Raleigh. It's like Florida. It's like we're all transplants. Western New York, Pittsburgh. My friend's from the Pittsburgh area. His mom died. His dad's like, don't even come up. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a cremator, we'll have a memorial service or something. So we wouldn't have to do it. Yeah. There's anything more than I How are you doing? Corey, what did you get to see? Him? We did. Well, we we saw did. Him a little bit, but that's yeah, okay. It's fine. Oh my god. We just wanted to be here oh, for you. I couldn't believe that them knew you. I know. <laughs> like, I go there all the time. We didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But we just wanted to give you a big hug. Yeah. Tell you we love you. I know. We just saw you uh, within the year. I think it was. I know. Yeah. We went to the other side of the church to meet you over there. Yeah. I have your picture. We had our pictures together. That's the last time we've been down, I think. We right. haven't been and down you since. Were down, you were down then from Mike's spirit. Was that a yes, last yeah. time? Yes, yeah. Well, yeah. And then when but SESL you know, does a little graduation. I went over to Roland in the morning. You said, you're, you're Scott's daughter, right? <laughs> yes. But she's back now. Like she's, She'll be she's back Monday. Right? She was home for a couple weeks because oh, of all this garbage, this but she's yeah. coming back Monday. Oh. And so, yeah, no money, no Nothing she's, home, so she yeah. she's, ble- she's bleeding us but dry. She, she's finished though. Like she did her course. She <laughs> did, but she's got one more year of online school. But she works at the school. Like, yeah. So. But. Buffalo got snow this morning. And yesterday, yeah, I saw that, that Mr. Hyman posted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to you because you're the best mom. Okay. We are actually longtime friends. Oh, of from when they lived in Buffalo. We should do bad things in the woods. We did. Oh, y'all all us. Y'all are both yeah. there. Yeah. Well, we live in Raleigh now, so, so we got smart and got out. <laughs> Oh but my yeah. god. I will I never forget that. I'm so sorry. Oh, I saw you said that. I was dying laughing. We got up, we're like, oh, that's great. Oh, we have a It's the best. Yeah, we have memories. You know, it's not like I thought of it. That's right. Oh, yeah. We're in church. That's right. That's right, that's right, yeah. Yeah, we're good Christian people. That's right. Oh, it's so much fun. Right. Oh, yeah. Even Robert is all right. Hello. 32 years. Yeah, we're you guys are just behind. Wait, wait. Yeah, 30, we're 31. Yeah. We're 32 this year. We got married in 87. We got married in 87. Yes. Okay. Nice. Not the oldest one. And they're just after you. She's 30, way older than you. We'll be 30. Yeah. In so we're 32, 31. But you still got the great hair. <laughs> Thank you. I was called politician hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm always. Do you like my work? Yeah. Yes, you are. Hey, how you doing, there. guys? This is, a, this is a politics lady. Yeah. 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 I was just so cute. You were giving a drink. All we needed Bobby. We had the whole gang. I know. Back. This is Mark Trump. Well, that's the funny thing. I got Trump tattooed on my back. I just wanted to become a citizen. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, that was, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. That was that's the greatest thing. Yeah, I've got to do it. He said the day that he became a citizen. I've got to do it. I like being in his application. I'm like, they became a citizen. Yeah. Who the hell is that? Yeah. Good. 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 But then you, like I did a job yesterday and a lady across the street was like, I'm this, 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 and this. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's it's like, it's it's don't sure, how like, old is this? Okay, right now, hang on. Yeah, it's crazy. I know you love the story last night. Yeah, it's city. We live in the double way. Oh, nice. I didn't want to say it. I don't care. Did you have to bring your name up? It's bad enough that we would have to do what we're today and now. I always say, what's the double way? Well, it's good. Yeah. Oh, I know. Christmas. Oh, yeah, but it was Christmas. 26, 27. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. Yeah, oh. It's right here. Oh. Looking good. You're a guy. So what they do is, yeah. Oh, so you can hear it. Yeah, I, I go back and forth with my face. Oh, oh. Well, he wouldn't stop reaching out to her. He just, how, how long have you guys been married? He's been stalking her. I'm just like, my yes. That's the whole reason why she said, I'm off the table. What? How long have you been married? Are you stalking somebody, Katie? She's stalking somebody.
That's probably the closest. <laughs> Mom, we've never met Steve. One of my one of my other friends. He's next. Oh, he's wow. next. who's this? He's there talking. He's in the yeah, please well, from Wilmington. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm here from the wedding. That's right. Can't forget family. Especially the deal. <laughs> yeah, so. We're supposed to get married in November. We'll kind of see how that goes. Oh, wow. Uh, November 21st. So. Yeah. That's why they can put up with me. That's why they can put up with me. Whatever she needs, she'll be finished by then. All this stuff. All this stuff. I think it's a song about her mom. 
Johnny, Steve wants to talk to you. Weird, like seeing your stare, and I can't use my eyes. That is good. Wait, yeah. Wait until he's driving. You know, we'll have to talk one more day. Thank you. 
Remember these songs, just songs? Yeah. Love you, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it's there. They're open up there? Yeah, some of yeah, Ms. Catherine walked in. Ms. Catherine's going in right now. No? Yeah. Ms. Catherine's walking in. No, that's good, Brian. Brian, it's okay. Be okay. We love you.
I know they didn't get the service, right? Yes. Oh, they did? Yeah. Got here the service, too? Sure. That was you. Oh, I thought the microphones went. That microphone's on. That silver thing, that fluffy ball is... Oh, it is. I said that would have caught. Yes. I'll talk to you soon. God bless. They didn't see all these pictures here. That's going to be on the GoPro. Oh, it's That's going to be on the GoPro. Yeah. This is my Michael's mic. <laughs> Say hi.